Yo, what is up guys? It's the Nightwing at Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video here today. This is going to be the LEC 2021 Spring Split Semi-Finals and Finals Recap. We finally have a brand new team that has won LEC after all these many years outside of Fnatic and G2 who have dominated the LEC for so long and then outside of the one title that was won by Alliance in the EU LCS 2014 summer split and joining me here as always for these LEC uh week by week reviews is T Root what's up man because you predicted Mad Lions to win the LEC 2021 spring split the only thing you got wrong you know, was the game score, and that was by, <laughs> off by one game. So you and Warren yeah. apparently are just like fucking prophets or some shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, when it comes to to EU, I'm really good at guessing how games are gonna go. Oh uh, yeah, you know. yeah. Let's, let's, let's not uh, let's not uh, forget. I did call uh, Mad Lions beating G2 in Week Eight in that big. Uh, really match of the week thing where you called me crazy for thinking that yeah yeah that, yeah that, guess I, who I came out on top well, oh i almost flexing. i i i had an almost good one remember when i almost I, my, my my mind told me shaka over fanatic but my heart said fanatic mm -hmm. would win it was only because of you well, of course yeah like I, I was almost there so like i'm almost about to be a prophet do i have like you must teach me your prophet ways of predicting how, I don't even know how you even knew they were going to win. But to be fair, like, <laughs> it, it's one of these things where, like, it happened last year at the 2020 World Championship when I was doing my uh, predictions. You know, you have the pickums and shit where I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah. like, uh, Suning versus JDG. Like, most people went and picked JDG because, obviously, they beat them during the split before Worlds that year, right? But then if you look at how right. they played, previously, Suning played better so it was like, okay, that's probably the reason why they won. Because obviously, there, well, I mean, there's more reasons, obviously. But it's like, they did play better recently. And I think that, you know, I really thought G2 were going to clutch it out. I really thought they were going to get get their shit together, clutch it out, and win. But it turns out that hasn't happened because they played really it's badly. because they don't previously. have perks. perks. Perks was their clutch factor, like straight up. Uh, I mean, and Proof it doesn't help yeah, that I think perks, perks all day, baby. Let's go. Also, this is the C9 uh perks shirt. Yes, you guys already know. Perks is you know the dominant uh LCS player now. You know he's North American blood kicking in now. Yawn, <laughs> yawn. Uh, dude, when a Cloud Nine hoisted that trophy and the confetti rained down in my head, imaginary. I just couldn't. I just sat back in my chair and going, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations, C9. You're now the next team to let us down in an international event. I hope not, because it's weird how, like, Cloud9's the only NA org that from, like, the old guard that hasn't went to MSI. CLG, TSM, and uh, Team Liquid have all went. Team Liquid, yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's fair. That's crazy that Cloud9 is the only one that's never went, and they could have went last year, but, you know, life situations, right? You know, at, at COVID, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, looking at... At these uh, past best of fives this past weekend, I mean, mm -hmm. oh, so there's so much to talk about. So let's start with G2. Let's just finish them off. My boys, G2, they're gone. We're not going to see them until the LEC 2021 summer split. Oh, no. Yep. G2 are out. So I'll say this because I know I was right about this at least, about G2 not at least winning the series. But, you know, at least I got this, uh, you know, prediction correct, which was um, they were – playing really poorly but everyone knew they were really playing poorly anyway wonder had been playing uncharacteristically pretty bad yankos had hadn't been his best self uh caps had been having some under performances as well mickey x had been literally running it down in some of the games as well reckless was literally their only good player from the past uh, best <laughs> of fives you had even seen so there's so yeah. much to dive into it's yeah. like th does reckless you know because he said he's not that leader type-ish player for the team. So you already kind of excluded from that. Then Yanko said that they don't have a defined leader. And then we even talked about this too. I remember we talked about this because last week uh, you couldn't be on the show because, you know, we had to – we were just not going to happen. It was just super busy, right? So we we were talking yeah. about it the previous week, not the last week show, the previous one. No, the first week of playoffs. Yeah, yeah. so like, bring on, like being on stage is going to be a whole lot more different for these teams. And once I saw the, the yep. teams play on stage – you know, it, it should have clicked in my brain they were playing worse. Now, I don't know if they were playing on stage and having stage jitters, but, like, I don't know if you want to give that type of excuse to this team. They've been all these – Not it really. It feels crazy. All of these 
EU players on G2 have been to a World Finals. That's the crazy thing. Yes. All of these yes. EU players on G2 right now for 2021 have been at, in an, either a finals in their own region multiple times, or they've been out of quarterfinals multiple times, well, it's not, or been in it, finals. It's not, even a, it's not even a question of or, it's both. I mean, yeah. literally, all of them have been to multiple EU finals. Uh, quarterfinals, All of them have been to at least one finals. world final. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. The amount of best MSI of experience. finals for four of the players that are not named Reckless. <laughs> dude, like, the amount of experience in this roster is absolutely, absolutely disgusting. And to see, like, mm -hmm. so... It's, so the biggest criticism was the drafting, and then Grabs obviously talked about it on Twitter after they lost to Rogue. He basically said that, you know, uh, they didn't have a good read on the meta. They definitely were uh, not playing good. Uh. They, I mean, to be fair, you, you could see that in their gameplay. They definitely didn't really have a good read on the meta. I don't think the Karma pick was really good for their team specifically. I don't like Karma in general when p people pick it. Every okay. single time wow. I see Karma pick, the team loses. You get that feeling? Like every single time a team no, picks Karma, I, they lose. I, I, don't, I don't get that. Really? Oh no. shit. Okay, we're we're having this two different magnetic fields. So like, you know, where are we where are we pushing <laughs> and pulling from? Well, so it's so it's like for me, and and this is just something as a fan, I don't like. I don't like to hear good teams like G two when they lose. They're like, oh, it's not that we played bad. It's just that we have a bad read on the meta. They did play that, bad. I think that, that's, yeah, like that, one, that's true. That's true. I agree with that too. I, I think that's one of the worst excuses you can make as as a coach, or you're basically saying, because that basically means that if you have a bad read on the meta, it means a your analysts are doing bad. Yeah. B clearly you're not putting enough efforts into scrim and solo queue practice because mm -hmm. most of these players play the play the tournament the finals patch on solo queue like two or three weeks before the finals. So if there's like if they're a meta issue, then clearly they're not playing enough on that patch to understand, well, this is what's really good right now. Mm -hmm. We should invest in, like, practicing that. And this on the karma point, too. though... Oh, and this, sorry. And, the, and this ahead. is my thing, to attack on your point, is that you can't really give this G2 roster really any excuses. Coming into this split, everybody had them... Outside of, I, I literally was just you who didn't have them in first place winning. Outside of you, yep. <laughs> yeah. the only person I know that had Fnatic first place watching them was fucking crazy. You know... This team, and... for the expectations coming into the split, failed. You know, Re Reckless came over mm -hmm. from Fnatic, and he didn't win. You know, those are just nope. the facts. They played poorly in playoffs. They did play well in the regular split. I, I think people need to kind of separate the two. They did play good in the regular season. They they just choked in playoffs. They legitimately just well, like, shit say, the bed in playoffs. The, the, um, there's a semi-warranted reason why... If you look at the L LEC All Pro team, it's literally all G two. Like all oh, that made... community horse shit. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I'm not even gonna fuck. Well, my anyway, brain will explode but looking anyway. at that. <laughs> Holy on the, shit! On the, on the part about um, karma, karma and drafting, like you gotta understand that uh, 2019 and 2020, G two was one of the pioneer teams in mm -hmm. the supportive top. You know. Wonder what known for his karma top. He invented the Soraka Jonah top. top. He's done the, Ivern the Sona, top. Ja Sona's, Jana yeah. top. <laughs> Sona, Jana uh, top. So, like, the, the fact that they're playing, you know, support the AD carry or support the mid comps is nothing new. They've won with shit like this before. It's just right now, karma is one of the best enchanters in the game. Just flat out, bar none, karma is a good pick. The fact that they just weren't playing well with it or, or mm -hmm. rotating around the map properly to boost up their carries i think is an issue i mean especially with hecarim and like Bolivar bear being junglers that are so big in the meta there's no reason that engage comps with a, a karma speed up can't work all right i was guys. explaining that to, to kofta the other day too oh gosh <laughs> let's get right into some of these games so this was the game uh no it wasn't well this one may mickey x was really really losing a lot of his uh Gragas Barrel. So, also, I want to make sure I make this known, too. Just because G2 lost and they were playing pretty poorly doesn't mean it, it was luck. I hate when people say that, though. Rogue themselves played really well this past weekend, even though they lost, obviously. It was so heartbreaking yep. to see Oda Wamne's first title just just literally run away at the, at the speed of light away from him. Uh, Inspired played yeah. really well. Uh, he definitely had a really nice bounce back performance than uh, he had against Mad Lions the previous week when he was obviously on Udyr. 
Um, the big problem a lot of people had during this G2 series was they were playing really poorly at a lot of the dragon control setups. They, there was a game where, I think it was this one, where uh, Reckless was doing really well on Jin, and then the whole uh, KDA player memes come back, you know, because he, he wasn't really committing to a lot of fights, but then again, you have to understand, he can't just run up and die. I don't know what you fucking silver or bronze people think. He can't walk up and just <laughs> die. He can't 1v9 yeah. on Jin, unless you obviously have, like, a ton of items but even AD carries just aren't like that anymore. I think people are still thinking that AD carries are fucking in like season five when Forgiven used to just like butt fuck people in EU with like Lucian. No, 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 it's not like that. Caitlyn. Yeah, like Caitlin literally. All the time. Like literally, it's not like that anymore. He, and why? If no, you're an, it's a if completely you're an different meta. And dude, if you're an ADC, what the fuck are you walking to five people and trying to die? What? what kind of? That's that's why a lot of you guys aren't pro players. Like that, that's the reason why you're thinking as an AD carry, you can walk up to five people with crowd control and blow up spells and just destroy you. Nick, no. So, mm -hmm. um, they have the karma top for this, and and you said you didn't. You actually thought it was a pretty good pick, actually. I I think. Well, okay. Let me. Let me clarify. Karma Top is a good pick in a comp like this. I do not think it was played well. Okay, I got you. Got you. So, you also had, I, I think, uh, Larson and, and Inspire definitely playing together as a 2v2. Hansama really did uh, prove why he was one of the top three ADCs in the LAC. I know I had him mm -hmm. on my uh, all-pro team for my ADC picks. I thought he played really, really well during the uh, regular season. And Trimby definitely had a really good weekend, but I don't think this is, like, super indicative of how good he has been. He has kind of sucked most of the split. He hasn't been good as players like Limit, Karzy, uh, and Treats, and uh, even Hillsang to a certain extent. Even I thought he played like pretty yep. fucking poorly the whole split. I like, if if Trimby hasn't even been outperforming Hillisang, then he's, he's this was just a, what do you call that? When you've only really had one good week as an out, yeah, there you go, outlier. He only had, this, this, this was just an outlier for him this past week, and mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to play this good consistently. I do think he's weaker than players like Limit, Karzy, sorry, Limit, yeah, Limit, Kaiser, and Treats. So, um, yep. what other other things do you think for G2 uh, definitely ruined them this past weekend? Because they got I, beaten Honestly, bad. This it wasn't was, even I like a, a fair was, game. Well, you talk a lot about, you know, uh, uh, objective control. I think part of that falls on Yankos. I feel like this has been his weakest split in, a, in general. Yeah, like in, in in a in a good couple years. This like, has been his weakest split. I, I don't want to say he's been H two K back in like twenty seventeen because he just was playing. I, really I would even bad. say like I would even say since twenty eighteen summer like. I thought he played decent in those splits. I, I think when he was on H2K, when, when they had fucking Forbidden and those two Korean, uh, the bot laners, I thought he played oh, yeah. yeah, with uh, Nuclear and Shea. Oh, my God. Woof. Mm -hmm. Man, back in the day, dude. But, I, I like, so when Grab said they had a bad read in the meta, I think I agree with you. They, they all played badly except for Reckless. Reckless was the only really standout yeah. player. Like, Yankos was literally memed all split for missing Spears. <laughs> he, he would mm -hmm. literally miss point blank Nidalee Spears. If you, yes, you, you would basically have to throw them backwards to miss how how close range she would actually miss them. It, it was that Which, laughable. Funnily enough, did you see that clip of Hansama Ash ulting backwards? Oh, yeah. That, trying to oh, hit Reckless? We'll get to that. Oh, <laughs> shit. We'll get to that. Oh, shit. This guy Hansama literally ults backwards. I was like, holy but, fuck. But, yeah, um, I, I just, I, I think that this was just, uh, G2, I think, uh, were assuming that they could just come in and win based off their regular season performance. Based on how they took out Rogue in the in the past you couple wanted, games. You wanted, and... you wanted them to pick Varus. They did. Hansama picked Varus in this game, actually. Yeah, no. Uh, Hansama, you know, kind of showing off why he's good, but at the same time, uh, when we talk about the finals, I, I think it shows why Hansama hasn't won a title in that. Yeah, he it's tends the to choke. choke. Yeah, he he even said it on his Twitter. I choked in this, and I choked in the SKT uh, Misfits best of five. I felt so bad for him. Don't bring up that one. Yeah, don't. Uh, it's, it's the Hawkeye thing. Don't give me hope. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, uh, and and why? Because they're both because they're both archers. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. <laughs> you know. All right. So, anything you want to say for G two? Because we're not gonna be seeing these guys for the next like two months. So. I think they definitely failed um, based off expectations. They definitely failed. If you yeah. think they didn't fail, you're just a blind fucking fanboy. And all you do is make for, excuses for them. First place in regular season is fine. But, you know, at the end of the day, Playoffs how you do in the regular season doesn't 
doesn't matter much if you're not doing well in playoffs. Like, do I think G2 was a bad best of five team? No, I'm not saying that. Do I think that they clearly didn't give a damn about spring and might, you know, try to work better for summer to get to worlds? Yes. Hmm. Do I care that they didn't win finals? Yes, I don't care. Because fuck G2. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so nice. To, oh, to, Root is just the root of niceness well, that I bring on here. You have to You see, I, I, I will admit there is a little bit of uh, salty karma in this because <laughs> Fnatic didn't make finals either. And then so your AD Fna- carry uh, the, sabotaged I, my team of going to the finals. Thank you well, so cause, much. Because here's, 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 here, here's, <laughs> here, here's the rule. The only team that can beat Fnatic in a finals is G2. So therefore, <laughs> if Fnatic aren't in a finals, G2 can't be in a finals. Oh my god, it's destiny at this point. But yeah, guys, for me, um, I don't know why like the, these like random G2 fanboys make up so many excuses. Guys, yes, they threw one of the they threw a, a, a game last week. It was the game one against Mad Lions, I think, right? And then they mm-hmm. also threw yeah. They were almost close to throwing this game in game one. I was like, this is, oh my god, this is getting a little, like, it's which, getting a little dicey. I, I'm curious, which fan base do you think has bigger apologists? G2 apologists or uh, TSM apologists? Or Fnatic? Because it's all pretty e- equal there. Like, d- like the, the thing with being an apologist is, like, I'll, I'll accept certain things. Like, okay, at this moment in the game, if they did something better, they would have won the game. That's not being an apologist. That's just in the game right but when you're saying narrative right. bullshit like well uh they should have won this game but you know uh this and this and that. it's like dude that doesn't mean anything they lost like if you said okay right. at this moment in the game if perks or sorry if caps ults this way directionally upwards and hits this carry if, then they can win the game if caps flies to north america and brings <laughs> perks back for game five okay that's being an apologist right there <laughs> he's like i got being a fanatic apologist down pat you know someone's i actually said earlier on you were a fanatic apologist for whip on hill saying in your pro rankings on reddit because I, I i now start showing the videos to reddit so yeah <laughs> they say you it's like how in the world could he have whipple and hill saying it's all pro team you know what i was like it's not my team so it's not that fucking matter to me you you talk to him his dms are open well i mean uh, you're, you're also talking about the same person who put jizuke first uh all team we'll talk in, about that. in na and which is slightly justified i found out you know people on the uh, like analysts on the dive were like yeah, Juke is really good. He's like second or third on on my own pro team, and I'm like, I'm just the guy out here sitting in first place, so. <laughs> sitting in first place, just <laughs> like drinking that Italian, it's Italian, Italian Kool Aid. But overall for G two guys, um, dude, I don't even know honestly. Like, Yankos played bad this split. That's why I didn't have him in my summer... all pro team. Like, Wonder played good during the split. Yeah. That's why I had I had him in my all pro team. He, he played good during yep. the regular split. Yep. So did Cap, so did Reckless, and so did Mickey X. That's the reason why I had everyone except for Yankos in my all pro teams at very varying degrees, obviously. But Jungle mm-hmm. is such an important role these past like four patches to the point where it might be more impactful than mid lane. So if he's not playing good, the guy who's won like two of the last MVPs on your team, it's gonna definitely look bad. Also, Wonder, I think thrives better on carry top laners but putting him on on, on a supportive top laner definitely doesn't help I think. yeah it's just a lot of drafting mistakes but nevertheless g2 is out cope is like get 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 this disgustingness off my screen <laughs> all right <laughs> so now we have the finals we had mad lions taking on rogue coming into this best of five man there's so much things i have to say so okay so armut uh, arma gap right maybe or maybe Arma get maybe they gave they gave Arma Wukong twice, and this is after Arma but, beat but, Rogue but, in but, the round one with Wukong. But they did twice. Give, but they gave Humanoid Oriana. Tw- multiple I don't times care. The, they gave no, Arma no, Wukong. Dude, dude, they literally <laughs> lost to them multiple times in Oriana because of the shockwaves and their piss poor mispositioning of it. Also, the yeah, the Wukong pick was disgusting. Holy shit! Or Narma. No, I, I, I mean, Narmut. I'm not denying that that. I'm not denying that uh that Oriana. humanoid on Oriana Which is absolutely was uh, out of, impactful. Out of this world. Yeah, I'm just saying th- the fact that Wukong just came in out of nowhere during this playoffs from from Armit just to style on Odawalne <laughs> four times in the last month, and he is four and zero on this goddamn Wukong. It's it like, is it's disgusting. Like a, it's like Bjergsen's. Zilli- like, it's like it's like the pocket picks out of people like who he's Aurelian. I was gonna soul say this is like, like who he Aurelian soul. Yeah, like Bjergsen Zillion. You just have to take those things away. Or you just start losing. They're just that good. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, now Broken Blades Darius. You probably gotta take that away from him. Otherwise, you're probably gonna be uh. losing games. So, um, <laughs> 
for this, Rogue end up starting up 2-0. But to be fair, let's be fair here, Game 2 wasn't really a stomp. Like, most of these games weren't like stomps, quote-unquote. Even when Rogue won their games. Rogue, I, well, I think... okay. Yeah, one in ahead. games one two th like every game but game four I think was a was was a close I think game very four close. Game was, two the was very where, close yeah but game four was the one where Mad Lions just kind of like okay yeah kind of whooped them around and like, then it's like shit that, that that was drafted game right five <laughs> game five was really good though I liked how game five won dude like game five. When I'm I, I'm sitting here taking a shower, I'm, I'm listening to the games in the long VOD form. They're like, oh, yeah, Rogue got a Baron. I'm like, okay, yeah, Rogue got a Baron at 20 minutes. Oh, Rogue's a better early game. And team. then do nothing with it. And then just do nothing in grief. Fucking in the, the – yeah, I'll, I'll play it right here. All right, so uh, it's somewhere – yeah, Rogue, get the Baron right here. 20 minutes, you guys. See? Right here. There yep. you go. 20 minutes. All right, cool. You, game five, 20-minute Barons? Oh, my God. I hear that. You, they, they, have, they have the better early game composition. They have a fucking Udyr and shit. Okay, they're taking towers. They're chunking. They're chunking out Kaiser. All right, good. Oh my god, they're Odawan is gonna win his first title. Do I get? Do I get my second girlfriend in my life? Do I? You never know. But look, they're not even hitting the tower. They're just. They're trying to what? chase down El Yoya. <laughs> <laughs> what is this competitive? Tr do you think mental fatigue got to them? Because that makes no sense. People say that. How can you get mental fatigue in a game five when you're winning it? You're winning. You're not even losing. If you get mental fatigue and you're winning in a game five to win a trophy, your team fucking sucks. What kind of crack yeah. are some of you guys smoking? Factor I, this I, in. I don't, you, I don't you agree should be with, with... You, should be, you should be mentally tilted when you're losing the game. No, seriously. How are you mentally tilted Hold when on. you're roll, winning? Roll that back like five seconds. Roll okay. that back five seconds. Yes, what sir. was that TP? <laughs> no, watch this. Like, just just watch the bush. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Why did see Elia's camping it and they're like, oh no, got a flash. Larson comes in and randomly flashes for no fucking reason whatsoever, just because re re reasons, right? So now by your rise doesn't yeah. have flash. Rise rise can't commit to the rest of the fight now because he yeah, doesn't have flash. Obviously, he, if he gets gravity field, he instantly dies. Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, like Elia was just he saw the TP. He was waiting there right on top of it, and instead of canceling his TP, so he's he can't like, cancel, remember? All right, I'm just gonna. Oh oh god, that's right. They changed that. No, uh, no, because it's, it's, no, it's still a bad TP. It's still yeah. a bad TP no matter what. Right. It was just like the Don't fact worry, that he had you. to you must waste. Have a brain fart. Yeah. It saved you. <laughs> no, man. You're good. But like he wasted his TP in that moment, and it's like, what the fuck? You see Freddy just going, like, okay, we can't lose, guys. Really? We can't lose this. Like, come on. He, he really wants to win. Like, straight I feel up. So bad for like, him. I think Freddy wants to win more than any anybody. Like, and the fact that they were on Soul Point and they couldn't finish it, like, like this is this uh, unheard levels of fucking. Do I, don't wanna, wanna, I don't want to say um, choking, because like, this can't be. Can choking. you fast forward to the to the last fight? Because like, yes, sir. The 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 game ending play. I, I don't know if I would give it to Humanoid or if I would give it to Armit, because Humanoids. Uh, this is fine. Just just let it play from here. Okay. Um, cause it's not long after the dragon take that the last fight happens. Hot Sonic when... is a little too close. He has to flash over the wall. The Tom Kench now has mm -hmm. to pop gray health. Then he, what, right as he eats him right here, I think he spits him out backwards somewhere. Yeah, right, right there so he can deal damage. He actually kills two people. I'm like, okay, yep. they're going to win this fight. Nope, because Narma is still alive. Because Arma's been fucking Yeah, and disgusting. Humanoid just pumping out damage with his, with his uh, static just field. Victor's casually just blowing the whole, whole team's asshole and shit. <laughs> So guys, yeah, Rogue literally start 2-0 and then lose two games. They are winning game mm -hmm. five, and they're like, you know what? Fuck, we don't need a title. We could just be second place like Cloud9 used to be in the past, and then just give over a championship. Dude. Yeah. So so go back to go back to that game five, that last dragon take. Because if you go there, like right and then just here? Uh, hit the right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then just uh, hit right the right arrow key on your keyboard. Um, right, uh, one right. more time. Yeah, just just hit that a couple of times. Okay, because here's kind of the that where the game kind of starts to end, right about here. Okay. So I don't know what what they were doing trying to start Baron when Mad Lions had all their players up. This this was a, a like a a throw, honestly. Yeah, like, dude, I honestly don't know what was their point of starting this up, knowing they really couldn't do anything. 
But, you know, mm -hmm. credits to Mad Lions. They played really, really well in this game five. They had the better mental fortitude. Now, to be fair, people have said, are they the better team than Rogue? I mean, you yes. got to give Mad credit where credit is due. They did have the be the better mental fortitude. So going to an international tournament when Mad are potentially losing to teams like uh, Damwon Kia or whoever the LPL representative is going to be, you might want the team with the better mental because that might actually... Yeah, know. no, look at look at that. Trimby gets caught out to, to start, <laughs> and then they just... They just uh, <laughs> chase down Inspired. What is that? And then Armit just comes in, and he's like, nope. Just, just, just walks up. Now I don't know if he, if he, if he, if he was in vision right here. Uh, so Inspired's running around doing man bear pick things. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. so your jungler probably so just, should just be keep running an eye in on, first. Yep. Keep an eye on the Tom Kench. Just watch him get caught out. Uh, Inspired should be going first. That, that's bad communication. Inspired should be going first. Why is your Tom Kench going first? Yep. And there's Kench the static field, and then he just gets melted. You're fucking. Ugh. Your Tom Kench is supposed to be next to your Senate to save her. Now there's no Tom Kench, and then, and then now, there, now there's yep, no Senna, and, then, and now there's no trophy. Arm it with the hit, Elioia comes in. Oh my god, dude. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you know, Mad Lions did clutch it out toward the very end. Rogue definitely have to work on uh, their mental fortitude and best of fives. If they can take out G2, yep. the past organization that has won damn near eight splits in a row, how could they not just mm -hmm. beat Mad Lions? They were win like... Game two was close. I, I, and I, I, after a game two, you're thinking yeah. to yourself, there's no way Mad Lions bounce back mentally after that game two. With Oriana's shockwaves yeah, I'm, waves I'm over trying here. to remember. How did how did game two end? I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's been, you know, it's been a minute since I watched these games. True. Let me bring back to a little bit right about here. It was one of the Dragon Team fights, actually. Right. Okay, so Rogue have Ocean Soul. That's fine. And then they just start... Going down mid lane. Going down mid, right here. Like, also, Karzi got pretty much bought gap by Han Sama every game. It feels so bad, man. Which is, yeah, I don't want to say that's, like, fair, but I, it's, you know, kind of to be expected. I think a lot of people just see Han Sama as that tier, like, with Reckless and with Upset as, like, the top echelon of 80s, and then Karzi's kind of picking up the, you know, trying to dig his way up in there. Uh, right there. Yeah, it was this dragon fight right about here. So, so. Nasty. Yeah, it was disgusting. Roger in position. Inspired runs and yeah, flies in. Yeah, no, just... Mm -hmm. And then they all just dive in on, on the humanoid. <laughs> I gotta give uh, Trimby credit. His recon play was actually really good in this yeah, game. Yeah, like, I don't think he's that good, but he can shine on a few champions. But nevertheless, guys... Uh, the LEC 2021 Spring Split is over. I do want to say uh, shout-outs to T-Root. He was the guy uh, pretty much with me every single week since I now wanted to have have a person on for this, you know, because it's more effective talking to someone else than you know, just talking to yourself half the time because, you know... Yeah, it's that, been a lot of fun. Yeah, man, the second person can add in a lot, and maybe, you know, you were going to brain fart with the TP thing. That's why you have me right here for that. Because people always say, you guys aren't really analyzing the games. If I wanted to analyze the games, I can analyze the games, guys. I'm not trying to sit here for hours on end. Yeah, other people that'll do that for you. But I'm, I'm just here as a fan, giving my, my general viewpoints. But yeah, man, uh, anything you want to say before you close out about Mad Lions winning the split? I was proud we finally have a new winner. But the only issue I have with a lot of the brain dead fans is like, oh, yeah, it's not exciting seeing the same team win over and over again. So that's what a stupid person says. Literally, if they're the best team, I want to send the best team. I don't. It's not a fucking popularity contest. What the fuck is wrong with some people? It's not a popularity contest. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to want to send some janky team because you feel like they should have a new representative because I don't know. You you, you don't want want to see Fnatic or G two. I want to send the and, better team. Well, and and I think that just that if uh that sentiment comes from traditional sport mindset. Where you don't want to see like the Yankees win every World Series, or you don't want to see Golden State Warriors win every NBA championship. You want to see, you know, other teams. You want to see other players, you know, finally get their due. So for me, I was happy with you know a, a new team uh, winning, especially a team that I supported like the Mad Lions. Um, now they're does that mean now that I was? Lions. Now they're Glad Lions. Also, yeah, <laughs> Ar Glad Ar Lions. Armut or Humanoid? Ooh, for Finals MVP. Who could be Finals MVP? It's like. Oh, yeah. 
Probably, oh, damn, dude. Yeah, probably, because he had a lot of great games, too. Also, Arma was yeah. super, super clutch. I was going to give it to Han Sawa for finals MVP, but, uh, oh, those, that, that Ash Arrow really, really well, tilted me off. Holy speaking, shit. Of, speaking of MVP, did you see the Reckless interview that, like, they waited until after the the Rogue G2 oh, game God. to announce the MVP, the timing, and it was like, the and L congrats dude, to our regular season MVP. It dude, was uh, dude, reckless. Dude, the, L dude the, uh, the LEC's timing the split for announcing shit has been damn near perfect. <laughs> I was going to say, and if you look at online, it's like, yeah, one of the reasons we had to delay it was because Shocks got caught in traffic, and we wanted to wait for her to be here to interview Reckless. So oh, kind of sucks we had to wait until after he lost to, to do his MVP interview. Damn, damn. Yeah, like he said, he's going to try and rally, rally the team together. I mean, I hope they can bounce back. I believe they can bounce back. They have the caliber of players to do it. Um, maybe that this just was one of those bad splits to be expected. And people have to realize this. Losing is good. Losing will make them improve. That's good. That's good Loses to lose. improve. Yeah. Losses will make them improve. You know, finally, there are teams that can knock them around. And now we have new rivalries in the LEC. Now Rogue and Mad Lions have a solidified rivalry, which is good. These are good things to have, you know? I don't think all of this is bad. You know, the grass is greener on the other side. Or in G2's case, the grass is darker because yeah, you're going to be staring at your computer your screen, mind. you know? So. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. seriously. <laughs> and that's pretty much um, it, guys. Uh, anything else you want to say, man? Uh, I want to see Mad Lions win MSI. Okay. Now now, now you're just smoking crack. So, you know, let, Cloud9's probably going to win MSI, let's be honest here. Or I am or betting Cloud9. I'm uh, Honestly, I, I won't lie. I'm betting C9 uh flames out in groups like oh, not even knockout like not even rumble stage in groups all oh, the hot takes all right guys i'll see you guys later like comment subscribe most of all enjoy i'm the nightwing and way of life esports is signing out guys peace have a great day goodbye peace.